flats. Going in here. Oh, Phil. 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 Really? It's too early in the morning for coffee. We Somebody's need. done eating it all. I'm not sure this one was so big. Was Montgomery Ginger already in here? Oh, no. man. Whiskey's already gone. The Jim Beam's already gone. <laughs> we didn't bring any Jim Beam because we didn't want Montgomery Ginger coming in. So that's what the deal On that mic right there, you want to get real close to it because I don't know. It's been kind of a weird. It's been weird. It's been weird. All right. <laughs> Why don't you guys introduce this? This Rascal Flats. Introduce yourself as who you are and where you're from, and we'll do the Dick Clark thing. Um, are, we, are we on right now? Yeah, you're on. This is live, so don't say anything bad. Okay. Uh, I'm Jay. He said not say anything bad. No, I'm Jay. <laughs> I'm Jay. I'm Joda. And I'm Gary. All right. We're as Flats. Mm -hmm. I thought they were going to do the hello, hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello! That's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, hello, hello. <laughs> oh, oh, you guys have been, been busy, man. We've been really, really, really busy. Gary's been Small. real busy. He, about a month and a half ago, he had his first little baby girl. Oh, I heard yeah, about that. Yeah. yeah, thanks. What's your name? Brittany. Brittany. Yeah. No. Since I've been up all, well, I haven't went to sleep. I got, I woke <laughs> slept yesterday afternoon. I woke up at like five thirty, and then I thought, well, no, he I'll means he back. hasn't been yeah. to sleep all month. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he means. <laughs> is this your first job? Yeah, it is. Boy, it's funny how they change your life, isn't it? Oh, it is. It Especially is. with that colic. Boy, that change your life in a heartbeat, but <laughs> you have it or the kid does? I, I got it. <laughs> That's why I was up till seven. I cried all night. <laughs> just sit on the dryer, you'd be okay. Yeah, that's what I did. Sit on the dryer. My electric bill was like four thousand dollars last month. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Helps out that car. Just don't sit on the washer with that unbalanced load. It goes. You always step on that. An unbalanced load. <laughs> wow. He's used to unbalanced. I mean, he's unbalanced. You know, so it all. You know, it all that's cool. Out. Where's the medicine at? Let's talk about music, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's probably what they came in here for. <laughs> oh, that razor blade, I don't know where your medicine came from. It's all gone, man. Get yeah. refill. All the lacquer's off the table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's been one of those days already. It's only 7.33. So, yeah. Hey, well, it's, uh, things are really shaking for you guys. You've had a uh, great uh, jump out of the box. Things are happening. Tell everybody a little bit how you guys got together. I've, I've heard this story, but I don't know that we talk about it on the air that much. Well, Gary and I met in rehab, and uh, we, <laughs> we don't like to talk about it all that much, but uh, no, uh, actually Joe Dodd and I were playing with Shelly Wright's band for the past couple of years, actually three years ago now, I guess, and uh, Gary and I at the same time were doing, we're cousins from Columbus, Ohio, mm -hmm. and at the same time we were doing a gig here uh, in Nashville at a little place called uh, Fiddle and Steel Guitar Bar in Printer's Alley, and we had every uh, Monday and Tuesday night down there, and we were playing, and it was it was cool. We were doing it as a duo thing at first, but uh, we had a guitar player playing with us, and one night he couldn't show up, and uh, Joe Don was playing, and Shelly Wright's band, and we had become good friends over the course of playing together. And I asked him to fill in one night, and from the first night that we ever sang together, we just felt like we had something really well, unique. And the special. truth is. He called me and asked me if I knew any other guitar players to come fill in for this guy. <laughs> I said, No, man, I don't. Can I come? Yeah, well, yeah. I don't know. You had me from a hello then. Yeah, yeah, why, would you, why would you leave a gig where you could stand behind Chili right every night? <laughs> <laughs> hey, there's nothing wrong with my butt, buddy. There's nothing wrong with my rear end. Just because I've had a child, I've worked back into shape, okay? <laughs> well, that, that's why. You know, so Jane, there, Jane's are not enough to stay in the back, man. Thing. We're all, yeah. all we can get up to the front. Right. So You're the front. It's their deal, yeah. you know? Besides, she, you know, it's. Never mind. Oh, I just said I just wanted to. <laughs> I, I, he's, I, I, he, uh, he's, uh, you know, Shelly's been really, really supportive. She's been really great. Yeah. That's I, all I was going to say. I was going to say she's probably. Sorry to lose you guys, but probably really excited because every every guy that's on stage probably wants his own deal eventually. I mean, that's kind of one of those things that just goes with the turf. You know? Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think anybody aspires to be a side man. Yeah, really. <laughs> I just want to stand up there and play with Shelly. So I have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we know Shelly. Actually, her first uh, radio interview was with us in Beaumont years oh, ago. So, cool. like, a special connection. Jay, so Jay there. He does for most people. That say, we're their first station. He usually moons them, but yeah. thankfully he didn't do that to Shelly. Well, you so. know, this is our first station. Too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I so, DJ. You know. I stopped that when I cut my hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a previous life. I'm not in that place anymore. <laughs> I cut my hair and waxed. That's right, I waxed. <laughs> <laughs> you needed to. Oh, uh, 
This Everyday Love, or yeah, Everyday Love is the name of the song, the yeah. singles out right now. Yeah. And uh, is there a story behind that song? How did how'd you guys get it on the album? Well, we just we actually got it pitched to us the night before we went in to cut the record. Wow. And mm -hmm. uh, an eleventh hour song. Yeah. And it just man it blew us away. We hurried up mm -hmm. and put some vocals on there, and you know it's just we think it's a great uh, you know. It was really cool because uh, that song actually and While You Love Me, we both got the night before track. They were on the same CD. And we got pitched to us and. Uh, we were wanting one more up tempo, one more good ballad, you know, and lo yeah. and behold. Yeah, what you were looking for. Yeah. Huh? I it. think that uh, everyday love is a great message, too, you know. I mean, sometimes uh, if we let relationships get old, they will, but, you know, it's it's cool to hear this perspective of this yeah. guy saying, you know what, to other people this seems boring, but to me it's what I look forward to every day. The old stuff's the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's it, man. But the harmonies you guys have, I mean, the singing is just absolutely <laughs> great. And that'd be so cool when you got together and you, you, you say, "Boy, we sound pretty damn good." Yeah, you know, it's it's, it's amazing. It's as much as we've because well, we've been on the road since January, you know, and we we hit every place. And you know, it just we played in uh, Florida uh, <laughs> Saturday, you know, and you know, still get goosebumps. We played where? It's something something <laughs> special. <laughs> you remember that, man? Yeah, Florida. We played in Florida. Uh, yeah, Chesapeake, Florida. Well, I, I don't want to <laughs> heard of it. Chesapeake, Florida. You've never heard of it. Yeah, we played in uh, St. Louis, Texas. But <laughs> Rocky Cat, Florida. <laughs> <Florida. laughs> I tell you what, we got a really good buddy who lives in Beaumont. Oh really? Mark Chestnut. Chestnut. Yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. He's I'm sure he's up early this morning oh, listening yeah. to us. Well, he may be. He may be going fishing. But I'm <laughs> yeah, really, yeah. Now he's driving back from the bar, man. <laughs> he's on his way back right now. Yeah, he lives about a mile and a half from Vaughn, actually. He sure does. He so called really. us one more. He called on the regular, re on the regular request line, you know. And I, I thought he had the hotline, but he called on the regular request line. And I said, what are you doing? He said, I'm going fishing. And you can tell oh, yeah. <laughs> Nobody can impersonate him, so yeah. you know it's him. Yeah. There you go, what y'all doing? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's the best, man. He's, he's, I tell you, he's a great true. singer, man. I love Mark. He he is, is, too. Oh, we were on the Crown Royal tour with him and, and got to be pretty good friends. And I'll tell you, he's one of the most consistent singers I've ever heard live mm -hmm. in my life, I, I think. Yeah, you know, he really is. I know this is John's interview, but real fast, I'll tell you, I played the song Too Cold at Home on Cherry Records. That was the first person I ever played on the radio. And Mark remembers that, you know, he's mentioned a couple times like the shows that I was doing. So. I know you guys had a big thrill. Maybe you got a chance to play the Grand Ole Opry. That had to be fun. Oh, oh yeah. my goodness. That was amazing. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you what, probably I would say, I haven't had my, uh, my first child yet, but I'd have to say next to something like that happening, that's probably going to be one of the best moments of my life. Yeah. You know? that's, something you'll, that's something you can tell your kids about. Absolutely. And your grandkids. And Absolutely. Else. That's one of those history making deals that uh, you'll always remember so. It was kind of, unbelievable. Kind of like when Elvis died, you remember where you are, you know. I was watching Gilligan's <laughs> Island, Nick and Burrito. Where are you? Actually, I was. <laughs> wow. It was you know, Gilligan's Island gives me the urge to eat burritos. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. I always wondered why they called him the skipper. <laughs> the buddy, you know. I always missed it. I was on the washer or the dryer. <laughs> I always miss the Gilligan's the Island. Skipper. The skipper! The little buddy. Skipper. <laughs> and people say, Ginger Marianne. Uh-uh. Mrs. Howell. She's got money. <laughs> I'll make you, Mrs. Howell. <laughs> <laughs> Plants, they're telling us you guys have got to go. We can, sit, we can sit here all day and talk to you guys. We need to get you down to our way. You guys were in town once, but it was in a bus and, and sat in the parking lot. It was raining real hard. Uh oh. Hey, you <laughs> sat here. Craig Craig Morgan, Morgan, here. Morgan, yeah. Hey, you sat on the bus and had a beer with us. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, dude. Hey, so Craig, Craig Morgan just gave you yeah, a lot of uh, a wet willies. <laughs> <laughs> So Joe Don said, Paradise. I love Paradise, man. So and I'm praying for daylight. <laughs> you don't get that to happen, girl. No, you don't. Uh, this is cool stuff when you have a couple of people in here. I think they're going to be pulling Rascal Flats out. Is that what we're doing? Okay. Can you give me a nice little Okay. okay. We're switching we got to be easy with it. We're good boys. Well, let's switch it real quick then. Pitch hitting for Rascal Flats, Craig Moore. I'm going to ask you. Tag team first. How come he's got lipstick on his cheek now? <laughs> hey. That's because Jay gave me a wet kiss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are bad. Well, anything cover up those favor blisters. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Stay boy. Thank you. 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 Thank
always good to see. Good luck with the baby there. there. Keep that hey, wax number. Yeah, <laughs> keep the wax number. And we're going to stay right here because we've got Craig Morgan in here. Okay, man, take care of him. Good to see you. We got Craig Morgan going to sit down at the one of the bikes here soon. Thank you, Dave. Bye. Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? Things are going great here. As you can tell, it's a little bit off the cuff. We just kind of roll with whatever happens. Good to see you, Kevin. Take care. Hello, man. Good. How you doing? We're live in Beaumont, Texas, man. We're live in Beaumont. Woo! Yes, sir. Oh, Lord of mercy. So how you been? I'm good, y'all. You know, we're doing great. First place we saw you was at uh, Country Radio Seminar. Yep. You had a little showcase thing. You had Dan Reno there. We talked about that. But uh, since then, boy, you've just been flying high. Things are... Things are